This was meant to be short. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You we wanted to thank um, and welcome new subscribers. Mm -hmm. uh, we realized that we've had an influx of more subscribers. Yes. If we have not personally said welcome to you we're sorry we'll probably get to that but we wanted to say welcome, welcome. thank you yes. so much for subscribing to our channel hello dear friends hey guys welcome back to the majestic family channel uh -huh. my name is jory and this is my lovely wife Bidibay or B. <laughs> make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch don't forget to like share turn on your notification bell so, so you know when a new video comes, comes out thank you okay today today we are doing a follow-up video yeah. to who stole my wedding ring yeah and if you have not seen uh part one we advise you to do so yeah go check it out back. and then come and hear our conversation okay. so having all the comments so many of you were saying you understand and many mm -hmm. of you had been there and mm -hmm. gone through similar things mm -hmm. and it's really great to know that we're not alone mm -hmm. in this um but it's also sad to right. see how much this prosperity gospel uh, deception has affected people. Mm -hmm. now, numerous comments and we want to go through a few of those and address some of the questions, some of the comments, mm -hmm. so you understand what we're not saying mm -hmm. and what we are saying. What we're saying. One of the ones that we got was, uh, someone took your rings, go get your rings back. What we want you to understand about that is that we're we're not interested in trying to get the rings back mm -hmm. um, we didn't share it you know so that we could try and somehow coerce them to give our rings back yeah no. um, luke 6 30 mm -hmm. talks about uh, that when someone's stolen something from you don't try and get it back mm -hmm. we do thank the person or the people that have mentioned that we, yeah. we understand where yes you're we understand the from. sentiment yeah the, belie the believer is always meant to let let god, god yeah. uh fight for them or yeah. or you know make those things happen for mm -hmm. them that we don't we don't manipulate or make things happen yeah. on our own mm -hmm. and so um we leave that in god's hands and, and if i think if they were to give the rings back we wouldn't take it so <laughs> right <laughs> the reason we shared of course was because we were asked all the time why mm -hmm. Bidimay doesn't have a wedding ring on even the people in our lives like right. our day-to-day -day lives right. wonder like people how in our come physical it, sphere yeah. even in our family have asked yeah what happened why, to your, what happened to your yeah. ring like yeah. why don't you wear a ring anymore right. so yeah we were always pretty quiet about it this yeah. is the first time we've shared publicly um and then second of all, it's to maybe help someone who's, yeah. who's caught in, in this twist of a gospel truth or of a, of a godly truth. Mm -hmm. Because God is a giver. Right. He gave his son. Yeah. His son gave his life. Mm -hmm. And giving is paramount and primary mm -hmm. for a believer. Yeah. But it's been twisted in this message to where uh, it's now become manipulated for the sake of greed. So what we're not saying is don't give. Right. That's not what we're Please saying. Please understand. Yes. Yeah. What we are saying is be a generous giver. Right. Completely. Yeah. Yeah. And if we want to get into the topic of how much you're supposed to give, we can talk about, you know, Old Testament, moving into New Testament with Yeshua, with Jesus, changing things. And you would think, oh, now we don't have to give as much. However, mm -hmm. the standard of giving is increased under Messiah because right. we have to give everything. That's right. <laughs> God, God doesn't want part of us or part of our things. It's all His anyway. Mm -hmm. We owe Him everything. Mm -hmm. And so to think that we own anything or that we were not going to give is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I mean, the rich young ruler, when he wanted to be close to Jesus, Jesus pinpointed the one thing. He told him to go and sell everything he had mm -hmm. and follow him mm -hmm. and we have to be at a place in our lives where if jesus puts his finger on it we're ready to give it that's right and i mean everything, everything. and that's a little more than 10 percent mm -hmm. um the problem is when man coerces and manipulates good believers into into giving because they're putting god's name that's on a right. certain twist yeah. of this thing someone is giving mm -hmm. and you know it's from a place of generosity of of a believer being generous that's awesome i don't want to i don't want to dissuade that or or stifle that 
Yeah, I, I think Christians should be generous and some need to be very intentional on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, you know, and for them, that that is them being generous and that is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, my nervousness is uh, when believers are told that, you know, they have to do this and that God expects it um, or you'll be cursed or, you know, whatever the manipulation, when manipulation comes in, that's where I have a hard time. You know, our, the Bible talks about our righteousness being as filthy, um, filthy rags, <laughs> yeah. as filthy rags. Right. And so um, I think for me personally, I just want anyone that uh, watches this video to understand that there is absolutely nothing you can do right. from stopping God from being good. Nothing. Right. God is good regardless if you give or if you don't give. Right. You don't have to give God something for right. Him to give you something back. And that is <laughs> what we learn and that's what we're trying to share is that God is a good Father and He knows exactly what um, you need and mm-hmm. what you have, what you don't have. Right. Um, and don't let anyone else take that away from you. So right. yeah, he's good. <laughs> yeah. Another thing we don't want you to think is mm-hmm. that we're struggling. Oh yeah. <laughs> because the idea of struggle is interesting because you can have very little and not be struggling. Yeah. Um, you can be financially poor and not be struggling. Mm-hmm. Just know that Uh, In any season in our lives, we didn't struggle because we were blessed. And blessing isn't just money. Mm -hmm. We were blessed in many ways. Mm -hmm. God saw us through some very difficult times. Mm -hmm. And and also understand that Paul said, too, that he's learned to be content with little or with much. Mm -hmm. And so you can imagine Paul when he, you know, didn't have anything trying to find food or what it might be. And then also living in some wealth at some points in time. But the thing is... Paul was content, you know, he didn't let those things get a hold of him. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's where we should be as well, in a place of contentment mm-hmm. with what he's allowed us to have. And, and that's one thing the prosperity gospel preys on. Uh, it's this idea of greed. And they won't say it, but like, you can have more. You can have that big house. Yeah. You can have that nice yeah. car. All you got to do is do this. Yeah. And, and while that should be a huge clue, right? Like we should have known. We, we were a little naive. Here's what you do to get what you want. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you should understand that that's not what God would say. Mm-hmm. That uh, we should be giving out of a genuine heart for giving, not expecting anything in return. Someone asked, you know, if maybe if we can put money together, we can get them a ring or whatever. <laughs> no, we're really, no, no. really, we're okay. Yeah. And we're Thank sorry. You. That's kind. That that's was kind. very kind. We're sorry if we came across like that's yeah. what we were saying. No. <laughs> but that's not what we're saying. Right. Um, we have so many other priorities that um, I I know I'm married. He knows I'm married. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was very kind. There was yeah. someone that that said was that. really sweet. Uh, yeah. But no, we can't receive that. No. <laughs> <laughs> we even had people reach out on Instagram and shared some of their stories there too. Um, so I'm glad we shared it because mm-hmm. a number of comments like. But just saying thank you for sharing. People right. need to hear this. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, definitely not saying that biblical principles aren't true. Yeah. Giving needs to happen for mm-hmm. a believer. Generosity has to be huge. And even sowing and reaping happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just not the way that this right. prosperity gospel has yeah. painted it. Yeah. So there was a comment that came through that was like heartbreaking. And I thought this is exactly why we should share. Right. I think one lady said she walked away from the Christian faith. She said she walked away from Christianity, Christianity. and she never felt freer. And and like I get it. Yeah. And and at first I was like, oh no. And then I said, well, honey, like there are times I don't want to associate with those who call themselves Christians. Yeah. And don't follow Messiah. Yeah. So I understand that feeling, and I hope that she didn't walk away from Puka. Jesus. Yeah. You know, from her Savior. Um, and if she did, I pray that she comes back and, and knows him for who he really is. But yes. the pain of how these um, these things can be manipulated can run very deep, very deep. and can cause people to leave yeah. the faith. When, or, you know, they leave what they think is the faith. That, it's, yeah. it's sad because there's such a great burden on those of us who know him to not misrepresent him. Yeah. And this is where the commandment that says... Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, in vain. comes in. Yeah. We've 
we've misunderstood it and cheapened it to the point that we're missing this. Mm -hmm. When it says don't take his name in vain, it doesn't mean don't swear, <laughs> don't like use a cuss word. Mm -hmm. It means don't take on his, his name, name and say, I'm, I'm one of Jesus's. I belong to Jesus. And then act like he wouldn't act. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. Don't take his name and then live it out in vain in that's a way true. that's not him. Mm -hmm. And so that's what's sad to me that someone could be misrepresenting who Messiah is and someone else would leave what they think is Messiah. So, okay. yeah, for those people, Lord, I just ask that you would get them, Lord, find them and help them. Yeah. Um, I think, too, one of the things that she mentioned, that comment, was that some people sacrificed marriages, right. children, and houses, or something like that. Right. The like deception that. can run really deep. And I thought, all because it was some sort of scripture was taken out of context yeah. about how uh, Abraham sacrificed his son. Right. So what do oh, we have right. to sacrifice oh to God? First of all, Isaac that, wasn't sacrificed. Sorry. Well, the injustice <laughs> that you're doing to the work of Messiah's death is like tremendously right. like Right, that all Just of a sudden there's something wrong. you can earn, or you exactly. have to sacrifice something exactly. again when the sacrifice was already made. I think that. You nail him to the cross again. That one is what threw me off. Right. I was just like, now we can buy our way. Right. Now we're back to sacrifice. Self. Right. Yes. What, what does he want? Obedience? What does he want? <laughs> he, he, he prefers obedience, uh, mercy, mercy over yeah. sacrifice. Yeah. And so. The fact that you have to sacrifice something to get something else and, and then compare it to what the beautiful picture of what Jesus yeah. would have done for us on right. the cross is right. disgusting. And so that is what kind of had me angry. It's like now this is going straight into the heart of the gospel and, this, and, and that's not okay. Yeah, and we'll get into this more, but this is the problem with not reading and understanding the word right. as inspired by the Holy Spirit because that whole story points to the the replacement what's the word the the ram was mm -hmm. the substitution yes. for the sacrifice of Isaac yes. Isaac represented us yeah. as people yeah and we needed to die for our we, sin we did. and there was there was a substitution in Messiah that the God ram provided. that God provided, provided and and that to yeah. use it for any other reason, it's that sickening. story is sad because is. that's not what it's saying. It's not saying sacrifice something, you know, important to you. Yeah. That's not what it's saying. We, we live under the new covenant where God has sent his son and by his mercy and grace sacrificed him for us. And so that whole idea that that was used is just so sad. Um, like George said, we can go in depth about you know tithing and all this stuff yeah but we cannot have a discussion on a topic we want to talk about uh, giving mm -hmm. and you're calling it a seed well the seed is the Word of God not money sure. so when you're saying I'm sowing a seed into good ground it's talking about the Word of God right. so we can't really start a conversation if so you redefine what you're talking about till the definitions are set yeah. and then we can have a conversation right. so um that's what i wanted to say i didn't want other people to read that and and think oh yeah sowing a seed no in the word it meant um, the word of god so. yeah okay so we may do another one depending on how many more comments we get oh boy <laughs> <laughs> but it's been fun it's something we're passionate about very passionate. things of god and yeah. And please understand, we don't know everything. Nope. And, you know, there may be something we learn, and we'll have to go back and say, well, you know, here's something new we learned. Yeah. Um, I'm open to that. Yeah. I think we're at a place where we don't claim to know everything. Yeah. But we're just sharing our experiences and a little bit of what we think we've learned. Yeah. And, and the encouragement today is that oh, there's a Christ from death is living inside you. Mm -hmm. So you two have the same access to God yeah. as your pastor. Yeah. Um, you have the same strength, right. Holy Spirit, right. living in you. Yep. Um, There's no distinction. You yep. No, you just need to tap into that mm -hmm. and believe that yep. God <laughs> hears you when you pray. Yeah. Just as much as He hears your pastor when he prays. Right. Like in the kingdom of God, there is no like, you're the lesser people, right. we're the more important right. people. That's okay. something that always bothers me, yeah. is when people misunderstand that your pastor, your priest, you know, whatever, your 
person that you look to for counsel or teaching on the Bible, they're not closer to God than you. Yeah. That the Bible clearly says there is one mediator, mediator. between God and man. One. Mm -hmm. It's the man Jesus. Jesus Christ. And he is the only one that's you know, between us and the Father. Yeah. He and be, and the reason he's between us is because he's the bridge. Yeah. He laid down his life so we could walk across him to the Father. That's the only reason that he's there. He's he's the first fruits among many brethren. But yeah, you're those those in the faith that really know God and pastors would many good pastors would totally admit this. You know, yeah. like, hey, I'm not above anyone. Right. Oh, yeah. And, and maybe that misunderstanding is there and they don't even realize it, you know, right. because of the way the Greek thing changed church and mm -hmm. how they're on a platform and, you know, the way the church looks now where we all look up at them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. we're not saying you can't have someone to help you along right. the no, way no, in your walk. No, that, no. that is some, not right. what we're no. saying. Having someone can be very good, just that your understanding is we're all believers, believers. moving yeah. toward Messiah, that we're with Messiah and we're moving toward a common goal yeah. to become, you know, have unity in the faith, grow in our gifts to help others know Messiah. Um, yeah, that we're, we're going at this together. That's See, something that always bothered me. Like yeah. if someone at work, like I used to work at a place where there were a few guys that had just got out of prison and, you know, they would... They would look at me because I, you know, didn't swear or, you know, do certain things. Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, you know, you're closer to God or whatever. And that always frustrated me so much because if these guys would understand that mm -hmm. while they're in prison, mm -hmm. they are as close to God as anyone else, maybe closer because mm -hmm. they're in a place where they no can focus, <laughs> you know, and like they have such like rich, fertile ground mm -hmm. where people are humbled by the fact that they're there and yeah. like, you guys, like, nothing makes you closer to God than someone else, except, like, spending time with them. Um, yeah. Like, that's it. Yeah. Like, not being a pastor or whatever. Anyway. We he doesn't on love on. them more. Just know that right. God is no respecter of any person. If right. you come to him and you're saying, God, this is what I need as far right. as, like, your, your spiritual growth and maturity, he'll walk you through that. Right. I'm just speaking from my own testimony. Right. And so, yeah, I just want to encourage you guys, like... You get before the Father, you spend time with Him. Yes. There's you nothing see, you can do to earn it. No, you yeah. see some crazy stuff start happening mm -hmm. in your way of thinking. Yeah. Um, that you start seeing everyone like, oh, that's my brother in Christ. That's my mm -hmm. sister in Christ. Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah, they might have more knowledge that I can, you know. Right. But you too can get there. Right, grow. <laughs> Ask them to study yeah, with you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All so. right. So we love spending time with you guys. Thank yeah. you so much for giving us this opportunity uh -huh. to be with you. Thank you for watching today. Mm -hmm. And as always, dear friends, keep looking up. <laughs>